Hi, and welcome back to Speed Math. I'm Mr. Ryder here at Interboro High School, and uh, what we're doing now is we're moving on to our next installment in the math series, and this is uh, known as geometry. Uh, for the first three marking periods, we've talked about pre-algebra. We've, we've dealt with variables and fractions and decimals and scientific notation. But in preparation for next year in 10th grade, what we'll be looking at for this last and final marking period of the school year will be geometry. So today I thought I would just take a few moments of your time, introduce you to some of the basic concepts or basic terminology that uh, you can expect to have, uh, see your, your children dealing with in my classroom. And then from there we'll move on to part two. We'll start dealing with some of the more complex issues of uh, geometry. So welcome aboard and let's get started. Some of the more common terms that uh, your children will see in my classroom and I need to bring to your attention are things like parallel and perpendicular. Now, I know most of you probably are familiar with this. Something's parallel. Obviously, you, you may realize that they do not intersect. And the example I use in the classroom are the two center lines in a highway. Uh, these are lines are parallel. They never will intersect. And quite, fr um, quite frankly, it's a, it's a pretty general concept that most kids get right off the bat. Perpendicular, a little bit tougher because uh, of the word perpendicular. But once it's explained, they, they understand this. And I often equate to them um, an intersection. And I'll diagram it like this in class. But in geometry, uh, a perpendicular line are two lines that intersect. And the key here is, is that they form a special kind of an angle. And we call this a right angle at 90 degrees. And the best example I can provide you here is most walls are right angles to the floor on which they're constructed. And this is to prevent the wall from tipping over. So it forms a 90 degree angle. And we'll get into this in, in future lessons and in future video presentations. What exactly is a 90 degree angle in, in terms of measuring it? But right now we'll deal with parallel and perpendicular. A third thing we, we've talked about, and this is a group of uh, some of the more basic concepts. Uh, we've talked about a ray. We've talked about a line. And two other items, a segment. And finally, we've talked about a point. And I've asked your kids to, to define these, or at least be able to define these. And, and so I will give you the symbols, and then I'll basically tell you what it is. The symbol for a ray is a dot or a point, a segment with an arrow on the end of it. This is a flashlight. Sitting there with your flashlight, you turn it on and it creates a ray. So that's why we call this a ray. A line extends in both directions, never stopping. It's a, it's a never ending line, unless I stop it. So this would be the symbol or the sign for a line. A segment is just that. It's a part of a line. So it's two points, a line, and a, the second point. Finally, a point is simply what you've seen up here, and it's a dot. And we call it a dot. Okay? So this is the basic introductory lesson that we have that we've given already to your kids. And it's basic, we will build on this in the future in, t in dealing with the types of angles, uh, measuring angles, relationships between angles. And, um, and we probably won't get too much further than that this year. So familiarize yourself with these terms. Come back for the second part of the lesson and we'll expand on these items and how they apply in more complex problems. Thank you and have a good day.